for book one, proposition number 26 of Euclid's Elements, if two triangles have the two angles equal to two angles respectively, and one side equal to one side, either the side adjoining the equal angles or that subtending one of the equal angles, they will also have the remaining sides equal to the remaining sides and the remaining angle to the remaining angle. So with this proof, we really need to look at it in two parts. So the first part is saying that if we have two triangles, ABC and DEF, where this angle here is equal to this angle here, and this angle here and this angle here are equal, and then the bases of the triangle are equal, what we're trying to prove is that both of these triangles are exactly equal. And you can notice this is essentially the angle side angle theorem. And the reason I say this proof really has two parts is because the second part is where we will consider again having two equal angles, but this time the second equal angle will be opposite that of the base here. So this would be the angle angle side theorem, but we'll focus on that in the next video. So to start this proof, since we're trying to show that all of these side lengths are equal to each other, let's assume that the side AB and DE aren't equal to each other, which implies that one would have to be bigger than the other. So let's just pick AB and say that it's bigger than DE, but the same argument would follow if we chose it the other way around. So we can assume that AB is bigger than DE, and from here we can show that this leads to some type of logical contradiction. And to start this, let's say we want to cut off a portion of this line AB, let's say this point here, which we can label G, equal to the side DE. So in other words, BG is equal to DE, and we can do this due to book one, proposition number three, and next, we can connect C and G. So we've just created the line GC due to postulate number one, which says we can always connect two points with a line. And then notice that BG and DE are equal, and also the bases are equal, and the angle between those equal sides are equal as well. This angle ABC and DEF are equal. So due to book one, proposition number four, we know that these triangles GBC and DEF are equal. We're essentially using the side angle side theorem. So if these two triangles are equal, then we know that the angle GCB, this angle here, this smaller angle than the angle ACB, would be equal to the angle DFE. So GCB is equal to the angle DFE. But we also know that the angle DFE is equal to the angle ACB. So due to common notion, number one, things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other, we know that this angle GCB would have to be equal to the angle ACB. So angle GCB would have to be equal to the angle a, C, B, but we know due to common notion number five, which says that the whole is always greater than the part, that this angle here, G, C, B, cannot be the same as the angle A, C, B, since it's just a part of it. So this can't be true, which means that our assumption can't be true either, that this side A, B is bigger than the side D, E. And that leads us to conclude that AB is equal to DE. And if AB and DE are the same, so now this line here is equal to this line here, DE, then we would have two triangles with, let's see, we have AB here and DE equal, BC and EF are equal, and the angle between those equal sides are equal. So we can again use this book one proposition number four 
to show that these two triangles are equal. So book one, proposition number four, which is the side angle side theorem, lets us show that triangle ABC would have to equal triangle DEF, and that is exactly what we were trying to prove. So we can end this with QED.